Hello, hello, hello. My name is Andrew Bartlett, co-host of the Bench Points Podcast, found right here on the Rosemary Media feed. Last August, I wrote an article that was supposed to be the first in the Fantasy 101 series. However, as we all know, pandemics and pandemonium got in the way of continuing the series, and we've since decided to bring it to you in an entirely new format. In this first episode, I'm going to reiterate what was in that article. This video will be aimed primarily to those who are either brand new to the hobby, interested in getting involved, or simply for those who want to learn a little more. So, what exactly is fantasy football? Fantasy football and its equivalent in other sports is a hobby where owners select a set of real-life NFL players. Throughout the season, owners will face each other in weekly matchups and they will score points based on how their players perform in the real world. When your player gains yards or scores a touchdown, or any other thing for that matter, you earn points. Whichever owner has more points at the end of the NFL week wins. Damn hell, you say you want it? Yeah, yeah mind power, sweet mind power. So what are some different types of leagues? The first one that most people think of is the season long or redraft league. Redraft leagues are your most common form. Even if utterly clueless to the realm of fantasy football, this is the style of league that one would most associate with the term. In redraft leagues, you do just that. Each year, you redraft a completely new team. You're only tied to the players for the current season that you are in. Redraft leagues are great for close friends or coworkers. The second type of league is a little bit more nuanced. It's a keeper league. Keeper leagues are very similar to redraft leagues in that you redraft almost all of your team from year to year. However, you are eligible to keep one or more players, depending on the league, from the previous year to the next. Depending on the league, this keeper can cost you a draft pick for the following year, or some leagues even make the keeper free, and they are simply on your team to begin the next draft. My personal favorite way to approach keeper is to make keepers cost the draft cost that you drafted them the previous year. Confused? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? This allows a breakout player to be kept for much cheaper than his new average draft position, or ADP, would be, creating a value on your roster. The third type of league, and my personal favorite, are considered dynasty leagues. Dynasty leagues are the next step in advancing your fantasy career. In dynasty leagues, you keep your entire roster year after year. Prior to the start of each new season, usually in June or July, the league will hold a rookie draft not too different from the real NFL. This type of league relies more on rookie prospect evaluation and long-term success. So you may be asking, how are players selected? Every year, usually in June, July, or August, depending on the league, the entire league will get together either in person or over the web, especially in, you know, a pandemic. In the middle of a pandemic? Mm. To participate in a player draft. Team owners will take turns picking players they want, not unlike picking teams in high school gym class. I'll take Arnold, I guess. Okay. All right. Not too bad. Top half of the class. There are various ways to structure the draft. A snake draft. I'm a slathery little snake and snake. I'm so slithery and snake because I'm a snake. In a snake draft, the order of selections reverse every round. You know, your picks will go one, two, three, and then three, two, one, one, two, three, three, two, one, back and forth and back and forth. This helps to balance out and create a fair distribution of players. You usually see snake drafts in redraft leagues or the startup draft of a dynasty league. In a linear draft, you have the exact same pick every round with no reversal. Your picks will be pick one, two, three, one, two, three, et cetera, et cetera. This is very rare in normal fantasy football drafts. However, they are almost always used in rookie drafts in Dynasty. So now you understand the basics of what fantasy football is and how they operate. We reviewed the different types of leagues, redraft, keeper, and Dynasty, and how players are selected at the start of the season. Stay tuned for my next video in the Fantasy 101 series where I will discuss different lineup and scoring settings in fantasy football. I hope that this, along with the subsequent videos yet to come, help to form a foundational basis of knowledge for even the most novice of fantasy enthusiasts. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the awesome Rosemary Media content, including the Bench Points podcast hosted by myself and Kevin Murray. You can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Rosemary Media. That's at R-S-M-R-Y Media. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.
No good. Wide right. 